Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Lean and welcome to this video. Today we're diving into something that's super important for large organisations sending high volume emails. Whether it's reaching out to employees, customers or both, having the right tool for the job is key. And with recent changes to Microsoft 365, now might be the perfect time to review your strategy. A lot of organisations use tools like MailChimp, SendGrid or MailerLite to handle bulk emails, but others prefer to manage it all in-house, especially if you're already using Microsoft 365. Now, Microsoft has introduced new limits on high volume emails, mainly to boost security and system stability. So today I'll walk you through two Microsoft options to help you manage these changes. High volume email or HVE, a built-in feature in Microsoft 365. And then we have Azure Communication Services or ACS, a cloud-based solution for large scale campaigns. So let's break down each one. First, high volume email. Microsoft rolled out this public preview back in April 2024. Now it's expected to go fully live by September 2025. HVE lets you send up to 100,000 internal emails per day per tenant. That's a lot of internal communications, ideal for things like HR updates, policy changes or maybe even company-wide newsletters. You can still send emails externally too, but that's limited to 2,000 recipients per day. So it's really suited best for internal messages. Now, each Microsoft 365 tenant can create up to 20 HVE accounts. These are special mail user accounts and shouldn't be licensed. You could set up one for your HR department, another for regional offices or any internal team that sends out frequent comms. But what if you need to send large volume of emails outside your organisation? Before we jump into that, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. It really helps others discover this content and helps me bring the best videos to you. Right, let's look at Azure Communication Services. Azure Communication Services, or ACS, has actually been around since 2021. It's a multi-channel comms platform that lets you send emails, texts, voice calls, even video and chat. For emails, it's built specifically to handle external bulk messaging. Think marketing campaigns or transactional notifications. Here's what you need to know. You can only send to 50 recipients per email. Each message can be a maximum of 10 megabytes, including attachment. And yes, it's a pay-as-you-go service. A quick example would be sending a thousand emails, each one meg in size would cost around 37 US cents. You can use your own domains as well, so customers recognise the sender. And because Azure Communication Services is API driven, you can integrate it with your own apps or systems for automation and reporting. So what's the right choice? If you're sending mostly internal emails, go for high volume email inside Microsoft 365. If you need to reach external audiences at scale, Azure Communication Services is your best bet. Both have their place. The key is knowing your audience and picking the right tool for the job. I hope you understand this and the options a little bit better. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.